Good afternoon everyone, this is James the Local Viking and in today's video we're going to go over a fundamental audit that should be done at the beginning of any local SEO campaign. What this audit involves you doing is taking your client's business and keywords that they want to target, that you want to target, and running geogrid scans, and then just seeing who's in front of you competition-wise and seeing if they really should be in front of you. Because you have legitimate competitors that are gonna be in front of you that you've been hired to outrank, but then you're also able to identify people that are keyword stuffing or listings that are closed or just shouldn't be there. And those listings, those competition in front of you, you can actually just get removed in a few days of work. Sometimes even a few minutes of this just edit going through, you can begin to see results. So let's take our, our example here, the Mind and Body Clinic. Let's just say this is a brand new SEO campaign. We're hired to get them into the three pack and looking at their baseline ranks, we have some work ahead of us. But before we even get into all the time and money that it would take to rank in the three pack, let's see who's actually in front of us first. So we are here, we are 12th. So now we just go down the list and see who's here. So 11th, Odyssey House, Texas. And all we're gonna do is do a Google search on them and try to see if, if it looks real, if it looks fake, if it's closed. So this listing right here is real for the pure fact that it has a sign. While I definitely admit it doesn't look like a rehab center, there is a sign there for it. And so that business is legit. So we're gonna leave that one alone. Next one, Set Free DAT Center Inc. Take a look at the picture. So this listing there's no sign. It's strange that it puts you where it does. There's no sign or indication that this listing exists here. Let's see. Maybe if we go around the building, take a trip. There's just no indication that that listing exists in this building. And I like doing the due diligence of taking that extra step to, to research if the business actually exists. You know, you don't want to make suggest edits against legitimate competition. And even if you do make suggest edits against legitimate competition, it's a waste of your time because Google is not going to approve those edits. If somehow you did manage to close down a legitimate competitor, they're just gonna turn their listing back on. It's something you really shouldn't be doing. Um, but when it comes to a listing like this where it clearly doesn't exist, then all we're gonna do now is make a suggest edit. We're going to say that the listing is closed. Maybe it was there at one point, but we would just mark it permanently closed. So if that edit came through, then you move up one spot. That's one less spot you have to climb with local SEO efforts. You know, let's look at this client. Let's take a look at their website. So these guys are Memorial Herman, which is not what their name is here. Let's just take a look at the outside of the building. So it's outside a building called the Park for Adolescents. So the name 
could be one of two. It could be Memorial Hermann, which is seen under sight, or the image, you know, a street view, which is showing the park for adolescents. More likely than not, if this company even exists, it's going to match what's on the website, which is going to be Memorial Ehrman. So we would simply just take this name. Let's see if I can copy it. We're going to make suggest edit against the name. And we would just send that out. And we're basically going to keep rinse and repeating this process and see where we end up. And, and just because you have all the proof in the world that a listing is fake or a listing is closed, doesn't exist, uh, what have you, is keyword stuffing, doesn't actually mean Google is going to improve any of those edits. But it's definitely worth taking that two minutes of time to go through what's potentially your competition here and remove what really shouldn't be in your way. You know, just by keyword stuffing alone, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these listings are keyword stuffing. If all eight were reverted back to their actual name, there's a strong chance that they actually wouldn't rank against you anymore. Uh, it's a known issue that the name of your business actually has a lot of weight in ranking in Google Maps when it really, you know, definitely an argument out there uh, saying that it really shouldn't be a factor. Uh, but the sad truth is that the name of your business is going to help you rank. And if you know, if your name, if one of these listings has a DBA or it's actually their business name, there's nothing wrong with that. If, if, if this is your business name, Bay Area Recovery Center, men's inpatient drug and alcohol rehab cool that's your business name but if it's not then one that's misleading uh two it's probably against some state regulation with the business um, rules in the area and then three for our purposes it's against google's terms and services and you as an seo agency are going to spend money and time trying to outrank this when you could simply make an edit and remove it. So that concludes our video. Uh, just to summarize this video, we went over at the start of your campaign, a very fundamental audit that everyone should be taking, where you just go in, run some baseline scans on a geo grid, see who's in front of you, make appropriate suggest edits where necessary, and go from there. Personally, I like to click around just to see if there's any differences with who's in front of me. And you can you can create yourself a really strong runway. Like, man, imagine your client started at 12 when they came on board, and they knew they were ranked 12. And then in a matter of a week or so, you were able to clean out a lot of the stuff, and you moved them to, say, 4th or 5th in maps, which is still not top 3 in maps. But that's way better than 12, and you do that within a week or so, that's going to look really good on you. And from there, with your SEO efforts, you should be able to just move into the map pack. All right, that concludes our video. Stay tuned for the next video. Take care.